the GSU unit at our Embakasi B Training College. Speaking in that event, the president urged the recruits to offer services to all Kenyans regardless of their tribe and cautioned politicians from misusing police officers. President Ruto also promised to fight deep-rooted corruption in the police sector. Three days in a row. President Ruto today presided over the passing out of GSU recruits. The recruits putting out their best in a well-organized parade. And later, they took the oath of service and faithfulness. Faithfully according to law. Law. President Ruto urged the recruits to offer services to all Kenyans regardless of their tribe and cautioned politicians from misusing police officers. Mutafanya kazi vile mumekuwa trained hapa. Mutafanya kazi na police. Munaungana na jeshi kubwa ya police karibu sasa tutakuwa na police elfu miyamoja na kumi. Wale mumetrain na wao hapa. Wale mtafanya kazi na wao Kenya, wao ni ndugu zenu, wao ni madada zenu, kuliko hata wale mumezaliwa na wao. Hiyo ndiyo Kenya tunataka kujenga, yenye haina mipaka ya ukabila na sehemu mtu anatoka ama dini. Mimi nataka askari wetu wa polisi, wafanye kazi ya polisi, wachunge usalama, wachunge mali yetu wachunge watoto wetu wachunge biashara zetu mambo ya siasa itafanywa na wanasiasa na nawauliza wanasiasa wote wawachane na askari wetu wa polisi president ruto also promised to fight deep rooted corruption in the police sector pale kwa procurement ndio shetani wa ufisadi anaishi hapo Mchunge hapo kwa procurement kwa sababu hapo ndiyo pesa ya hawa askari itaibiwa na hawa askari hawata pata haki yao. Mimi nataka hiyo pesa yote tunaweka katika mambo ya budget ya usalama ifike kwa hawa askari wawe na vifaa ya kutosha na tutahakikisha kwamba kuna pesa ya kutosha ili askari hawa wawe na vifaa vyote vinavyohitajika waweze kusimamia usalama wa taifa letu la Kenya. Vijana wangu mimi nataka niwaambie tunawapenda sana. Tunawatakia heri. I pray for you. Speaking during the event, CS Interior Kithure Kindiki said that the ministry is committed to offering training that meets challenges at hand. We, in consultation with the command of the National Police Service and the other agencies in this sector, are working towards reviewing and updating the curricula of these institutions in this sector to ensure that they respond to the complexities of the security challenges our country is facing today. Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja thanked the police service for bringing back security in Nairobi. As a county of Nairobi, we are very proud that we've been able to partner very closely with the Inspector General of Police and the Regional Commander, Mr. Bungay, to restore order and sanity in Nairobi County. <laughs> In a consultative 